what's going on? It's Thor's Vapor Views here. Sorry, I haven't been putting any videos up, but wasn't sure if I was going to commit to it or not. Um, but I figured I might as well just for you guys, the vaping public. Uh, what I have for you today is Bazooka Sour Straws. This is the strawberry. Um, I believe it is a 70 VG, 30 PG. Um, it's good stuff from what I've had of it so far. I, I love it. I love the juice. Um, but I'm not going to get into that yet. I'm going to do uh, a vapor production, a throat hit, and taste. So let's first let's start off with a smell test actually. You know what's funny? Because this is supposed to be a candy juice. Um, I'm not knocking the juice or anything. Um, I love it. But it's supposed to be candy, but you really get a very, very strong, fresh strawberry note to it. Which I think is awesome. You know, I'm not a big fan of that artificial junk flavored shit. That's why I actually don't vape a lot of green apple stuff, because a lot of green apple vapes tend to be very candy ish and just not real. Um. So I have this loaded up on the Goon on a 5 wrap fuse clapped in coil. Um, it is sitting on top of my Limitless Lux Dual 26650. Uh, by the way, this box right here. If you want a box that's not going to die, it's going to last you 3 days, pick this up. This thing is bad fucking ass. This was a great investment. I, I've been using this for, I can't even tell you how fucking long, and I get bored of uh, devices, I usually swap out devices every month, but I've had this uh, maybe roughly about six months, and I haven't gotten bored of it, thing lasts me for fucking ever, I'm never home, so I don't have ch time to charge it, um, so, let me load this up, Alright, we're gonna first we're gonna be doing a vapor production test. I'm actually gonna put it at 80 watts. Vapor production is okay. On a scale of one to five, I give it about a three and a half. Now let's go into taste. All right, so. The smell test for this is on fucking point. Fresh strawberries, okay? Now, picture a fresh strawberry gummy sour candy. It's fucking awesome. It's nothing artificial about it. It doesn't taste fucking perfumey. It doesn't taste like shampoo. It doesn't taste like shit. Let's just say that. In my opinion, this is one of my favorite strawberry juices out there when it comes to strawberry candy. So, yeah, this shit's good right here. Now, throat hit, virtually none. Zero throat hit. It's no burning or stinging outside of the nose or mouth. It's phenomenal. Um, on a scale of one to five, what I would rate this juice would be a strong four and a half. Just four, not enough vapor production. <laughs> Um, the clouds linger, they don't dissipate, which is good, but for all of you cloud chasers out there, um, I really wouldn't say that this is a cloud chasing juice. This is, to me, in my opinion, is more of an all day vape kind of juice, but I would definitely rate this a strong four and a half, and I would definitely recommend this to anybody. If I spilt this whole bottle out today, and I had to go pick it up again, would I pay for it? Yeah, but next time I'd spend the extra money and buy the 200 ml bottle of this.
This comes in a 0, 3, and 6. Uh, it comes in a 60 mil, and it comes in the 200 mil, which I believe comes with two 15 mil bottles. Unicorn bottles, obviously. So, pick this shit up. Um, try and think exactly what website you can get it from. I bought this from a store in my neighborhood, Village Vaporium in Whitestone, New York. But I'm sure almost any website would have this. So, go check them out. And I'm hopefully going to be getting the blue raspberry and the watermelon this week. And I'll be doing a review on that as well. So, keep on vaping. Fuck the FDA. And fuck the FDA. Later, guys. I'm out.